Good morning sa lahat. So, narito po ulit tayo sa panibagong video lesson na covered ng quarter 4, week number 1 para sa ating mga grade 8 students. So, ang ating topic for today, Parallel Lines Cut by a Transversal. So, stay tuned po sa ating video lesson para po ay matutunan ninyo yung concept ng Parallel Lines Cut by a Transversal. So, ang objective natin today, identify the relationships among pairs of interior and exterior angles formed by two parallel lines and a transversal. So, alalahanin natin, pag sinabing parallel lines, it can be defined as two lines in the same plane that are at equal distance from each other and never meet. So, in geometry class, a line, line segment, or ray that intersects two or more lines at different points is called a transversal. So, sabihin natin na yung line L and line M are parallel lines and the transversal na nag-cut dito sa ating dalawang lines is yung line AB. So, line AB is an example of a transversal. So, yung transversal na inintersect niya yung dalawang lines natin, which are line M and line, line L and line M, ito yung dalawang points na namit niya along the intersections. So, note all the different angles form at the points of intersection. So, we have angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, Angle 5, Angle 6, Angle 7, and Angle 8. Remember, in a plane, a line is a transversal if it intersects two or more lines, each at a different point. So the lines cut by transversal may or may not be parallel. Example po yung na kanina. So pag sinabing parallel lines, remember po, these are the lines in a plane that they never intersect. So, line L and line M is parallel to one another. And this line T is the transversal. Here, on the example of non-parallel lines, so line B is not parallel to line C. And line R is the transversal of line B and line C. So, again, the lines cut by transversal may or may not be parallel. Two lines divide the plane into three regions. So remember po, if this line is parallel to this line, the region between the lines is referred to as the interior. So this region is referred to as the interior. The two regions not between the lines is referred to as the exterior. So ito po yung nasa outer regions. So, these are the exterior. Okay, so dito, identify natin lahat ng interior angles at exterior angles. Meron tayong line L, parallel sa line M. And we have the transversal T, line T. So, yung naka-highlighted na blue, it indicates these are the interior angles. At yung nakadilaw, are all exterior angles. So, the interior angles are angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6. While the exterior angles are angle 1, angle 2, angle 7, and angle 8. When a transversal intersects two lines, how many angles are formed? There are 8 angles. So, they are angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, Angle 4, Angle 5, Angle 6, Angle 7, and Angle 8. These angles are given special names. So we have alternate angles lie on opposite sides of the transversal. Same side angles lie on the same side of the transversal. Interior angles lie between the two lines. Exterior angles lie outside the two lines. Alternate interior angles are on the opposite sides of the transversal between the lines. 
alternate exterior angles are on the opposite sides of the transversal outside the lines. Same side interior angles are on the same side of the transversal between the lines. And last, we have same side exterior angles are on the same side of the transversal outside the line. So, it discuss natin bawat terms. So, let's know more about this alternate interior angles or yung word na alternate. So, pag sinabing alternate interior angles, these are angles form when a transversal intersects two coplanar lines. They lie on the inner side of the parallel lines but the opposite sides of the transversal. The transversal crosses through the two lines which are coplanar at separate points. So, tandaan po natin yung pag sinabing coplanar. Uh, these are points lying on the same plane. And these angles represent whether the two given lines are parallel to each other or not. So, if these angles are equal to each other, then the lines crossed by the transversal are parallel. The word alternate is usually used with pairs of angles to indicate that each is on opposite sides of a line. In the figure below, the two angles are called alternate angles because they are the on opposite sides of the sloping transversal line. So, ito siya yung angle 4 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 5. These are alternate interior angles as well as angle 1, angle 7, angle 2, and angle 8. So, i-discuss natin further itong tinatawag nating alternate angle pairs. Unahin natin yung alternate interior angles or AIA. So, since uh, the two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, so we have a pair named as alternate interior angles. So, una-muna natin i-classify or i-identify lahat ng interior angles. So, itong line na to is parallel dito sa line na to. At ito po yung ating transversal na nag-cut dun sa dalawang lines. Meron tayong mga angles na na-form. So, meron tayong walong angles. At pag identify natin lahat ng interior angles, ang mga interior or nasa loob na angles are angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, and angle 6. So, when we say alternate interior angles, we have um, angle 3, okay? Angle 3 and angle 5. We have also angle 4 and angle 6. So, these two pairs are congruent to each other. So, sa madaling sabi po, pag i-identify or i-classify natin yung alternate interior angles, make sure na alam natin kung ano yung transversal or yung line na transversal po natin. So, sabihin natin, um, dito sa ating transversal na to at ito yung dalawang parallel lines, yung angle 3 na interior angles na nasa kanan ng ating transversal, ang kanyang kapares, obviously, is yung nasa kaliwa. Kaliwa ng transversal. So, hindi po pwedeng angle 4 ang kanyang kapares kasi angle 4 and angle 3 are linear pair. So, hindi po sila alternate interior. So, we can say angle 3, ang kapares niya is yung angle 5. Same as yung angle 4 at yung angle 6. And take note, pag sinabing alternate interior angles, they are congruent. So, whatever measure of angle 3 is just also the same as the measure of angle 5. Same with angle 4 and angle 6. We also have yung alternate exterior angles. Na mention natin kanina yung alternate interior angles. So, dito naman lahat ng exterior angles na uh, we have the alternate. So, ang magkakapares dyan. Okay, so meron tayong angle 1. Identify muna natin lahat ng exterior angles. So, ang lahat ng exterior angles ay angle 1, angle 2, angle 7, and angle 8. So, alin dyan yung magkakapares? 
So take note, pag sinabing alternate exterior angles, congruent din sila. So, angle 1 is paired to angle 7. So, angle 1 is congruent to angle 7. Sila yung alternate exterior angles. Angle 2 and angle 8 is, congru uh, is congruent to one another. So, alternate exterior angles din sila. So, pag sinabing same side interior angle theorem, if a transversal intersects two parallel lines, each pair of same side interior angles are supplementary. In other words, their sum is 180 degrees. Conversely, if a transversal intersects two lines such that a pair of same side interior angles are supplementary, then the two lines are parallel. So, next naman natin yung same side interior angles. So, pag sinabing same side, kung ito yung ating transversal at na-identify na natin lahat ng interior angles, we can easily identify those interior angles na nasa iisang side. So, let's say dito sa ating left side ng ating transversal, ang magka-pair dyan is yung angle 4 and angle 5. So, ibig sabihin, angle 4 and angle 5 are same side interior angles. Same with dun sa ating kanang side. So, on the right side of the transversal, we have angle 3 and angle 6. So, dito, pag sinabing same side interior angles, they are not congruent. So, they are supplementary. As a recall natin, pag sinabing supplementary angles, ito yung nagtototal ng 180 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, the measure of angle 4 plus the measure of angle 5 is equal sa 180. Ganun din po sa measure of angle 3 and measure of angle 6. So, ang total nila ay 180 degrees. When we are talking about same side ex exterior angle theorem, if two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, then, then the exterior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. Same with the same side exterior angles. So, pag sinabing same side exterior angles, we're talking about all the exterior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, again, kung ito yung transversal natin, lahat ng exterior angles na nasa left side ng transversal is yung angle 1 at yung angle 8. Ibig sabihin, sila yung same side exterior angles. Same with the on the right side. So, meron tayong angle 2 at angle 7. So, they are also supplementary. The measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 8 is equal to 180. Same with measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 7 that is equal to 180. So, yun po yung same side exterior angles. Corresponding angles are the angles which are formed in matching corners or corresponding corners with the transversal when two parallel lines are intersected by any other line. For example, the transversal line. Meron din tayong tinatawag na corresponding angles. So, pag sinabing corresponding angles po, they are congruent. So, we have a one interior and one exterior. So, one exterior dito, one interior on the same side of the transversal. So, ito yung ating line. Line, uh, which is a transversal line, na kinat niya yung dalawang lines natin dito. So, we have an exterior and interior on the same side. So, nasa left side sila. So, the other is also this one. Meron tayong isang interior, isang exterior na nasa isang side din. Ganon din po pagdating sa kanang side. So, yan po yung magkakapares. Yan po yung tinatawag natin corresponding angles. So, pag sinabing corresponding angles, they are congruent. Meron din tayong tinatawag na vertical angles. Pag sinabing vertical angles, these are opposite angles formed by intersecting lines and they are always equal whether you have parallel lines or not. So, example po, ganito. Ayan. 
So, vertical angles are equal in measure. So, let's say line BC is parallel to line DE. So, this is the symbol of parallel lines. So, ayan. Yan po yung nagpapakita na yung dalawang lines na to ay parallel to each other. So, we have here vertical angles. So, we have angle 1 and angle 2 are vertical angles. So, ibig sabihin, the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 2. Same with angle 4 and angle 3. Angle 5 and angle 6, 7 and 8. So, ito yung tinatawag nating vertical angles. And lastly, we also have linear pair of angles. Pag sinabing linear pair of angles, these are adjacent supplementary angles. Uh, which measures are supplementary? So, halimbawa po, we have angle 1 and angle 2 are linear pair. So, the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to 180. Same with 5 and 6. So, 180 din sila. Take note po, pag sinabing linear pair, they are adjacent supplementary. Pag sinabing adjacent, they share common side. So, to sum up, okay, the types of angled pairs form when a transversal cuts, cuts two parallel lines Pag sinabing congruent, parehas ang sukat, we're talking about the alternate interior angles, the alternate exterior angles, the corresponding angles, and the vertical angles. On, while on the other hand, pag sinabing supplementary na may total na 180 degrees, meron tayong same side interior angles, same side exterior angles, linear pair of angles or yung tinatawag nating LP. Okay, so, try natin. Sabihin natin, line S is parallel to line T and line C is parallel to line D. Name all the angles that are congruent to angle 1. Give a reason for each answer. So, since yung S natin, line S ay parallel sa line T at ito yung angle 1 natin, hahanapin natin lahat ng angles na may parehas na sukat kay angle 1 at i-identify natin kung anong angle pair sila. So, in this case, angle 1, we can say, unahin natin dito sa portion na to, so, angle 1, congruent kay angle 3. Ito siya. So, since line S is para sa line T, ang transversal dito is yung line C. Line C cuts line S and line T. So, since angle 1 is congruent to angle 3, we can identify this pair as corresponding angles. Since nasa iisang side sila, si 1 ay, angle 1 ay exterior, si angle 3 ay isang interior. So, yan po yung ating definition ng corresponding angles. So, pag sinabing corresponding angles sila, they are congruent. Another angle na congruent kay 1 ay angle 6. Angle 1 and angle 6 are congruent. So, ang pair na pwedeng i-identify sa kanila is yung tinatawag nating vertical angles. So, angle 1 and angle 6 are vertical angles. Another pair, angle 1 and angle 8. So, angle 1 and angle 8 are congruent to one another. And they are alternate exterior angles. So, again, line C is the transversal of uh, that cuts line S and line T. We also have angle 9 is congruent to angle 1. This one, angle 1 is congruent to angle 9. So, ibig sabihin, line C is parallel to line D. And line S is the transversal. So, 1 and 9, obviously, they are on the same side of the transversal. And angle 1 is an exterior, angle 9 is an interior. So, we have corresponding angles. Meron tayong angle 14 and angle 1. So, 1 and 14 are congruent to each other. So, since line S is the transversal, this pair is known as alternate exterior angle. have another examples. So, let's put uh, some measurements no, para maintindihan ninyo. So, sabihin natin, yung measure ng angle 1 ay 120 degrees. Ngayon, nahanapin natin lahat ng remaining angle measures. So, i-apply lang naman natin 
yung angle pairs na na-discuss natin. So, angle 1 and angle 2 is actually a linear pair. Okay? So, 1 and 3 is also a linear pair. So, pag sinabing linear pair, they are supplementary. So, minus lang natin si 120 degrees doon sa 180 para makuha natin si angle 2. So, the measure of angle 2 is 60 degrees. Now, since angle 1 and angle 4 is actually a vertical or vertical angles, angle 1 and angle 4 are vertical angles and vertical angles are congruent, we can say that angle 4 is also 120 degrees. And angle 2 and angle 3 are also vertical angles. So, congruent din sila. And angle 3 and angle 6 are alternate interior angles. Same with 4 and 5. So, ibig sabihin, congruent po sila. So, 4 and 5 have equal measures. Same with 3 and 6. So, 60 degrees din sila. Then, we can say also that angle 6 and angle 7 are vertical angles. 5 and 8 are also vertical angles. So, mahanap din natin yung kanilang mga sukat. So, that's how to apply the angle pairs in terms of measurements. Any questions? So, kung may mga tanong kayo, just uh, type your questions on the comment box below. And to summary, the lesson that we have for today, when the lines are parallel, Okay, so, meron tayong exterior and interior uh, regions. We have the following angle pairs. So, first angle pair, alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate exterior angles are congruent. Same side interior angles are supplementary. Same side uh, exterior angles are supplementary. Corresponding angles are congruent. And that's the end of our video lesson for today. So, I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to comment down below your questions para sa next video lesson natin ay masasagot po natin. Okay? So, have a nice day and thank you.